everyone, this is Matt from Dirt Motor Rider. Check it out, just got a new trailer. Picked it up last week, I've done a little work to it. I'm gonna show it off to you in just a minute. All right, this is a 2023 Pace 6x12 trailer. Uh, it's got a fold down ramp in the back here. Uh, can comfortably fit my bike, my son's bike, and also a smaller ATV. The other nice thing is there is a side door, which is pretty standard on these trailers that you can lock and easily get in and out of. All right, here's a quick look at the inside. I can easily fit my 300 XC in here and my son's CRF 110. And at the same time, I can actually keep my son's um, Outlaw 70 in here. So it's got a lot of room. I could probably fit another two bikes in here as well. I really wanted to jam it in there. So to give you guys a quick little review of what I've done here, picked this up last week. I just ran to Home Depot, bought a cheap toolbox. I think this was like 150 after a little discount. I also put in two, there are four posts for uh, hanging your jerseys, your helmets, all that good stuff. So you might've noticed the floor actually had this painted pretty pretty simple process i did it myself unfortunately you know walking in and out in the dirt and whatnot <laughs> your your feet tend to bring in some dirt but i put an epoxy um, garage floor kit and i just went slightly up on the sides the other thing that you might see are these racks on the ground here um, basically you can attach things to this and secure different loads furniture atvs dirt bikes things of that nature i'll give you a quick show on how i how i actually do that so here is an example of how you can secure your your uh your stuff This is something I bought a couple years ago. I've always had a lot of luck with it. It's just a lock and load system. So you can plug this in and you just tighten the lock nut down. You grab the other one and you're doing the same. And essentially all you're doing, you pop those down you drive your bike in and your foot pegs go around here. You just compress the, the bike down with your weight and that holds the bike while you're in transit. Pretty slick process and cuts down on storage and really makes loading and unloading super quick. So I'll just in case you're wondering what's in the toolbox, nothing too crazy, top, top drawer. Um, has um, wrenches, um, screwdrivers, spare sets of keys, um, stuff to clean out my camelback, tire levers. This drawer has my KTM toolkit, which this is pretty slick. This has basically every part, almost every part needed to strip down a KTM bike. So that works really well. Um, I also have a torque wrench. So it's nice to have this stuff while you're out riding in case you do have an issue. Um, uh, tire pressure gauge. I've got um, goggles in here, a bunch of different goggles, sets of gloves, elbow pads. Um, then on this bottom one, I've got anything to like strap down, tie down things. Um, I have a toe strap. I also have, you can laugh a little bit, I have one of these. So when you have to go to the bathroom, you need a little privacy and you have to go to the bathroom. And then of course the uh, air shock tool, which I probably should put in a different drawer. Uh, one other thing that I grabbed was the um, couple quarts of uh, oil, two stroke oil or stuff for my son. I also have a couple spare plugs in here, 
you know, just the, the normal stuff you would have. Again, just kind of showing I've got jerseys, um, helmets, mostly my kids' helmets. Uh, I've got mine in a bag. I've got their chest protector, shoulder protector. I've got some stuff on for my protection as well. Socks, more jerseys, basically everything and anything you might need for uh, a good day of riding. All right, well, thanks for uh, taking a minute to check out this video. If you uh, haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Look forward to bringing you guys some more uh, good stuff.